Australia's warm climate, long coastline and deep oceans provide ideal conditions for water sports. Swimming, surfing, diving, water polo, there's a lot to choose from when you're out in the water. And one water sport that's a little bit out of the ordinary is underwater hockey. It's hard to tell what's going on from up here, but once you take a peek below, you'll see it's just like ice hockey, but underwater. Russell, it looks like a really fun game, but how exactly is it played? Well, you've got two teams facing off against each other, pucks in the middle. When the buzzer sounds, it's off and away and try and get that puck into your opponent's goal. But of course, it's all played underwater on the bottom of the pool. Yep, but we do let you come up for air occasionally. Oh, good to hear. So how long does a game um, last for? So you've got two in an official game, two 15-minute halves and a two-minute break. In here, we play a bit longer. Because you love it so much. We do love it. It's How many players team. per team? So you've got six aside and up to four subs on the side in an official game. Well, Jared, this is the all-important park, and I must say it's small, but it's very heavy. It is very heavy. It weighs about one and a half kilograms. So it stays on the bottom? That's right. And what's it made from? It's got lead on the inside and plastic on the outside, and that helps protect the bottom of the pool. What other gear do you need to play the game? Well, you need a glove, some ear protection and a cap, and the all-important stick. Look at the little stick. Why is it so short and stumpy? Well, it's good for manoeuvrability at the bottom of the pool. Helps you flick, do some deflections as well. Excellent. So you need, you really need all this stuff, plus like another couple of things as well. Yep. Need some nice fins and a mask and snorkel. All right. Now, obviously, you need a few things to play this game well. You need to swim well, I take it. And good, being able, good being able to snorkel. Yeah. And also, um, what about holding your breath? You do need to have a very good breath hold. So how far could you swim without taking a breath? I can easily do about 50 metres underwater. Whoa, that's impressive. That's really good. This sport is great for all ages, and the only requirement is that you love being in the water. Just like any other sport, there are a few rules to follow. Underwater hockey is a non-contact sport. It's really important not to hit anyone with your stick or to use your free hand to push anyone out of the way. This a gold medal and it's all yours. You must be so proud, Tim. What did you win it for? I uh, won it for the Underwater Hockey World Championships in Portugal in uh, 2011. That's fantastic. So the men's team, the Australian men's team, are number one yep. in the whole world? In the whole world, yep. How did the women go? The women came second, so they did very well as well. That's so. fantastic. Now, how did you get into this sport? I got into it through uh, scuba diving. Um, so when I was younger, my dad did scuba diving and he got me into it as well. So it's really good for... Uh, you know, keeping your fitness up in winter when it's a bit cold or something like that as well. And it is a sport for all ages, isn't it? Yeah, it's a sport for I started playing when I was eight. Uh, my dad still plays now and he's 72, so... That's wonderful, and it looks like heaps and heaps of fun. So, um, what do you have to do to be good at this sport? What do you need to be able to do it? I mean, most people can do it pretty easy. You've got big fins on, um, just a bit of swimming, um, and if you, like, don't mind holding your breath a bit, then it's all good. And I think you have certainly found you've got the gold medal now. This is the sport for you. Yeah, I love it, and I'm never going to give it up. 